This is Earth, seen from orbit. At the center of our galaxy, 26,000 light years away, sits a supermassive black hole. It's called Sagittarius A star, and it weighs over 4 million times the mass of our Sun. That band of orange light rising behind our planet, that's the Milky Way, our home galaxy seen from the inside. And somewhere deep within that glow, hidden behind thick clouds of gas and dust, is our destination. Today, we're crossing 26,000 light years to see it up close. To put that distance in perspective, light itself, the fastest thing in the universe, takes 26,000 years to travel from the galactic center to Earth. The light arriving from there tonight left when Earth was still in the last ice age. Our solar system sits about halfway between the edge of the galaxy and its center in a quiet region called the Orion Arm. From here, the core of the Milky Way is completely hidden from view. Thick clouds of dust block everything. For centuries, astronomers had no idea what was hiding in there. Right now, we're leaving our local neighborhood of stars behind. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy, with long arms of stars and gas winding outward from the center. Our sun sits in one of the smaller arms, far from the action at the core. For most of history, humans thought the Milky Way was the entire universe, we had no idea other galaxies even existed. It wasn't until the 1920s that astronomers realized our galaxy was just one among billions, and the center of our own galaxy remained a complete mystery. Thick clouds of dust blocked all visible light. No matter how powerful our telescopes became, we couldn't see through. Then, in 1933, a young engineer named Carl Jansky picked up a strange signal. A steady hiss of radio waves coming from the direction of Sagittarius. He had accidentally discovered that the galactic center was sending out radio waves. Waves that could pass right through the dust. Forty years after Jansky's discovery, two astronomers named Bruce Balick and Robert Brown pointed a radio telescope at the exact center of the galaxy. They found something unusual, a tiny, intense source of radio waves, smaller than our solar system, sitting right at the core. They named it Sagittarius A star, after the constellation where it appears in our sky. At the time, no one knew what it was. Some thought it might be a dense cluster of stars. Others suspected something far stranger. To find out, Astronomers needed to watch how objects moved around it, but that was nearly impossible. The center of the galaxy is 26,000 light years away and hidden behind all that dust. Then, in the 1990s, two teams of astronomers began a project that would take decades to complete. One team was led by Reinhard Genzel in Germany, the other by Andrea Ghez in California. Using infrared telescopes that could see through the dust, they started tracking individual stars near the galactic center. Stars that were orbiting something invisible. Year after year, they measured how these stars moved. Some of them were traveling at nearly 3% of the speed of light, completing full orbits in just 16 years. By calculating their orbits, Genzel and Gez could figure out the mass of whatever was pulling on them. The answer was four million times the mass of our sun, packed into a space smaller than our solar system. There was only one thing it could be, a supermassive black hole. In 2020, Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Gez received the Nobel Prize in Physics for discovering a supermassive compact object at the center of our galaxy. Two years later, in 2022, astronomers released the first image of our galaxy's black hole, a network of radio telescopes around the world, working together as one giant Earth-sized telescope,
captured the glowing gas surrounding Sagittarius A star. The space around us is glowing with a golden hue. We're deep inside the galactic bulge now, a dense ball of stars surrounding the center of the Milky Way. The bulge stretches about 10,000 light years across. Most of the stars here are ancient, over 10 billion years old, formed when the universe was still young. These are mostly low-mass, long-lived stars that naturally shine in yellow, orange, and red tones. That's why the entire region has this warm glow. But near the very center, there are younger blue stars, too. Some formed just a few million years ago, right next to the supermassive black hole. For a long time, astronomers didn't understand how new stars could form so close. The gravity should tear gas clouds apart before they can collapse into stars. Scientists have several theories now, but the exact process is still debated. The Milky Way's bulge isn't perfectly round. It's stretched into a bar shape, extending thousands of light years from the core. From our position, we can see this bar stretching out ahead of us, packed with billions of old stars all orbiting the center. Orbital periods are much shorter here because stars are closer to the galactic center. Some complete an orbit in just a few million years instead of the 230 million it takes our sun. The closer we get to the center, the more crowded space becomes. There are over a million stars packed into just one parsec at the core. For comparison, the nearest star to our sun is over one parsec away. Here, stars are separated by light weeks instead of light years. If Earth orbited a star in this region, the night sky would be filled with thousands of bright stars. There would be no true darkness. This is the most extreme environment in our galaxy. Radiation levels are intense. Gravitational forces constantly pull on everything. Stars don't just drift through space here. They're caught in the grip of whatever sits at the center, all of them circling the same invisible point. And now, we can finally see what they're orbiting. Ahead of us, surrounded by a faint glow of superheated gas, is a dark region where no light escapes. Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. We've arrived. The event horizon, the point of no return, is about 12 million kilometers across, roughly seven and a half million miles. You could fit the entire thing inside Mercury's orbit around the sun, four million times the mass of our sun packed into that small space. But unlike black holes in movies, Sagittarius A-star is surprisingly quiet. Most supermassive black holes are surrounded by bright, violent accretion disks. Some swallow so much material that they outshine their entire galaxy. Ours is barely eating. Less than 1% of the gas that falls toward it actually makes it in. The rest gets pushed away by magnetic forces and hot outflows. That's why the glow around it is so faint compared to black holes in other galaxies. If Sagittarius A star were as active as some others, Earth would experience intense radiation, even from 26,000 light years away. We're lucky our black hole is sleeping, but the black hole isn't alone. Dozens of stars orbit incredibly close to it. Astronomers call them the S stars, if we speed up time, we can watch them move. One star, called S2, completes a full orbit every 16 years. At its closest approach, it moves at nearly 3% of the speed of light. That's over 7,000 kilometers per second, or about 4 million miles per hour. Another star, S4716, has one of the shortest known orbits, completing a full lap in just four years. These are some of the fastest stars ever observed. Watching them race around the center of our galaxy, it's easy to forget that just a few decades ago, 
we didn't know a black hole was hiding here. Now we've traveled 26,000 light years to see it for ourselves. Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. 